Hi, I'm Rabbi Pua, a chemistry guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi everyone, now in this video we will go through how to draw an energy cycle to determine the entropy change of a particular reaction given the entropy change of combustion. In this case we have an example, um, this equation is my C6H6 plus 3H2 to give us C6H6. H12. If I given the entropy change of combustion of my C6H6, combustion of my hydrogen, as well as the combustion of my C6H12, then how do we draw the energy cycle? Now, uh, what we understand from entropy change of combustion is the uh, entropy change when one more of the compound or one more of the substance is burned in excess oxygen. So in this case, if I burn C6H6, which is a hydrocarbon or organic compound, I'll get carbon dioxide and water. So basically, uh, bottom here I can put down carbon dioxide and water. If I burn hydrogen, it will give me water. If I burn C6H12, which is another organic compound, I'll also get carbon dioxide and water. So what this means is at this bottom uh, section here, we can actually just put down carbon dioxide and water because all these three compounds will just undergo combustion to give me CO2 and water. The next thing we want to do is we want to balance the equation. Again, the left hand side and right hand side is balanced. So what I have to do is I have to balance either the left hand side and the bottom or the right hand side and the bottom. Usually one side is easier to balance. So in this case, I will prefer to balance C6H12, the combustion of my C6H12 uh, in oxygen to give us carbon dioxide water because this is uh, the combustion of only one uh, species. If I balance the left hand side, actually what I need to do is I need to consider two separate combustion, combustion of my C6H6 as well as the combustion of my hydrogen and then I need to add the uh, oxygen together. In general, that, uh, that is a little bit more troublesome. So let us consider the combustion involving C6H12. Now if I want to balance this equation, I need to uh, balance the carbon, 6 carbon here, so I, I need 6 carbon dioxide. 12 hydrogen in C6H12, so therefore I need uh, 12 hydrogen, so I need 6 water. The next thing I have to uh, consider is oxygen. Altogether here, uh, I will have 12 oxygen here, 6 oxygen, in total 18 oxygen. So in this case, because here I have uh, 18 oxygen, I'm short of 18 oxygen here, I need to add 9O2 to force this reaction up. Then I know that this will just be the enthalpy change of combustion of my C6H12. So this uh, equation will be balanced. Once I put down my O2 on the right hand side of the equation, then the left hand side, I also need to add the same number of O2 to keep the equation balanced. So once I add 9 O2 on the left hand side and 9 O2 on the right hand side, then this equation is balanced. So there's only for me to uh, balance this uh, energy cycle any further. So we already have accounted for uh, this um, arrow. We have two more combustions uh, to consider. The combustion of my C6H6. Combustion of C6H6 to give us carbon dioxide and water. So this is a change of combustion of my C6H6. But combustion is with respect to per mole of the species or the substance that you are burning in excess oxygen. So the coefficient for my and the change of combustion will follow the coefficient of the substance I'm burning. Coefficient for C6H6 is equal to 1. Coefficient for entalpy change of combustion will also be equal to 1. Then the next reaction is the combustion of hydrogen. Entalpy change of uh, combustion of hydrogen to give us water. So this will be the entalpy change of combustion of hydrogen. Entalpy change of combustion will follow the uh, coefficient of the substance that we are burning. So in this case, hydrogen is 3 moles. So the entalpy change of combustion, the coefficient I need to multiply by 3. So again, this energy cycle uh, essentially is done. So the next thing we have to do is we have to apply Hess's law. This will be the energy cycle. So sum of all the clockwise arrows will be equal to sum of all the counterclockwise arrows. So if I look at the cycle, this is a clockwise arrow, this is a clockwise arrow. This is a counterclockwise and this is a counterclockwise arrow. So these two arrows and up will be equal to these two. I can write it into an equation and then I have an unknown. So I can solve for the unknown. 
according to Hess's law, the enthalpy change of the reaction plus the enthalpy change of combustion of my C6H12 will be equal to combustion of my C6H6 and plus 3 times combustion of my hydrogen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and share this with your friends. For more awesome JCH2 chemistry video lessons, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any feedback, questions, and suggestions to new video lessons, please drop them at the comment section. I'm also conducting JCH2 chemistry classes at Bishan Central. Please visit my website for more information. Thank you for watching H2 Chemx. I'll see you next time.